Hi, this is Mrs. Engel. Today I'm going to read Happy Birthday, Martin Luther King by Jean Marzolo and illustrated by Brian Pinkney. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. His parents loved him very much. Martin Luther King had the same name as his father, except for one thing. His father was called Martin Luther King Sr. Martin was called Martin Luther King Jr. Martin went to elementary school, high school, and college in Atlanta. He was a good student. Later, he went to Divinity School in Pennsylvania. Hopefully, he would have been a Washington winner. That's for sure. Martin became a pastor just like his dad at the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta. They were both called Reverend, the Reverend Martin Luther King Sr. and the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Martin's job as a minister was to help people in need. He visited sick people in the hospital and made them feel better. He asked people not to fight with each other. He said that there were peaceful ways to solve problems, using your words, right? And like his father, Martin led people in prayer and song. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. is famous because he helped our country change some of its laws. A law is like a rule. Once there was a law in some places that said only white people could sit in the front of a bus and that black people had to sit in the back. Martin Luther King said this law needed to be changed. Rosa Parks and other people helped him change it. Now, all people can sit in an empty seat they like. Once there were laws in some places that said that African Americans could only use certain restaurants and drinking fountains. Martin Luther King and many other people helped change these laws. Now all people can share the same restaurants and drinking fountains. Once there was a law in some places that said that black children and white children couldn't go to school together. Martin Luther King and other people, including very brave children, had this law changed too. Now, black children and white children can go to school together, just like in our beautiful school, Washington Primary. Martin Luther King had a special talent for leadership. When he spoke, people listened. Poor people, rich people, white people, black people, and people from all around the world listened when Martin Luther King spoke. Many helped him work, march, sing, and pray for justice. In the summer of 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave the most famous speech of his life. He gave it outdoors to a quarter of a million people who had come to Washington, D.C. to ask the president for jobs and freedom for black people. In his speech, Martin Luther King Jr. said that he had a dream. His dream was that people everywhere would learn to live together without being mean to one another. You can see here in this beautiful illustration, Martin Luther King Jr., he's standing right in front of the Lincoln Memorial and facing the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. This was one of his most famous speeches. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot and killed in 1968 because he loved poor people so much, he was given a special funeral in Atlanta, Georgia, where he was born. His body was put in a simple farm cart and pulled slowly by two mules to a cemetery. Thousands of people walked behind Martin in a sad, loving parade. On his gravestone were carved these beautiful words, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Martin Luther King Jr. wanted people to be able to go places together, share food together, and love one another in peace. Because he worked so hard for freedom and helped so many people gain it, we honor him every year on his special day. We call this Martin Luther King Day, and we say to him, Happy Birthday, Martin Luther King. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful story about 
this amazing man that made our country oh so much better. Bye.